the fuel maps um, on the GSXR 1000R. Um, there'll be acceleration, deceleration, uh, manifold pressure, your speed density, and your alpha in your TPS map. I'm going to go over those real quick. I'm not going to try to spend a lot of detail on them, but I'm just going to show you the maps that I've created using the AutoTune feature. Uh, I run AutoTune continuously. If you want to see my AutoTune map, I have another video on it. Find it, watch it, and I explain and show you exactly the AutoTune map that I use. All right. So, this is my IAP or manifold pressure fuel map that I use for the throttle body for throttle valve position that I run and this is based off of the auto tune that I've been applying since I've owned the bike or since I was able to log and apply the auto tune maps on this map one real quick I just want to point out that you actually idle in this area this is going to be your idle area even though the far left on a TPS is 0% on manifold pressure, you're actually idle in this area of the map. All right, this zero manifold pressure correlates to almost or 100% throttle position. So you can think of this if this was speed density, this would be your 100% throttle position map. Uh, I'm going to check this because I was kind of surprised to not see it. I try to. I, maybe this is from my car tuning days, but I try to match the manifold pressure to the TPS position or the TPS uh, fueling because in, in autos, if one fails, if one map, it always usually has a safeguard that it defaults to. So I try to always keep that in mind in my tuning. Suzuki, I really don't even know if that applies. It's just a habit that I've uh, used. So, yeah, they're actually going to be pretty close in this one. All right, so this is my TPS, and we can see that this is the acceleration TPS based off my auto-tune. Um, my mods are full exhaust, MWR, WSVK filter, and a tune. That's it. So you can see that my auto tune's been applying or making it rich as it goes. Uh, blue is rich, red is lean. All right, another map that we have are the deceleration. All right, so when you decelerate, your fueling is not as critical because of the loading of the engine. But what I try and do, right, wrong, or indifferent, but this is what I do is I try to keep my deceleration map as closest to my acceleration map and I do that because I always think about bumpless transfers or the transition from XL to D cell I try to make that as smooth as possible so I always try to match fueling sometimes I'll copy my acceleration map right into my D cell map and I do that the same for TPS and IAP uh, the bike runs really good so I don't see where that's an issue but even like I, like I said under D cell I mean it's not as critical as your acceleration map there's no load on the engine I mean so while I'm not saying it's not important it's not like having your fueling right during the acceleration or steady state so like I said you have mode A, mode B, mode C, different throttle valve positions for TPS input, but one fuel map. And this is the fuel map that I use for my mode A, and my mode A has been slightly modified. So this, this is my auto-tune correction. Uh, let me put the acceleration map back up there just so you can have an idea. I'm going to change it to percent. Let's see what percent change it's made. And I will do the same for TPS because TPS percent change. This is your actually where we're so 
2.8% on the top, 2.9, be interesting to see what a typical dyno gives you in horsepower. This percent fuel matches to that increase in horsepower. So, all right, guys, this is my GSXR 1000R fuel maps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like or subscribe if you do. And stay tuned for more. I'm going to try to do these periodically to cover my tune and how and why I do this.